television at the time was still a very conservative medium. And there weren't that many shows at the time addressing racial issues. Guess what famous and important personality I carry as a person in my cab today? Oh, Ted! Oh, no, no, you ain't gonna get it out of me that easy. Come on, you gotta guess for this one. All right, let's try, I'll go first. Living or dead? <laughs> Sammy was a great fan of the show, and he hounded me. He just had to do the show. He loved the show. And I said to him, we don't do guest stars. There are, there are no guest stars. Mr. Bunker? Once we had a good reason why he would be uh, in the show, I was comfortable with it. Come on in, Mr. Davis, oh, come Mr. on. Davis, oh, it's an on. Oh. I should tell you that a lot of what occurred was a result of Sammy. Hey, you're being colored. Well, I know you had no chase in that. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever made you turn Jew? He was as much a writer as he was a performer. And the kiss was his idea. One, two, three. <laughs> Well, to the extent that that kiss is an iconic uh, television moment, uh, a black man was putting his lips on a white cheek. Now, as silly as that sounds, that, that should be a national incident, it was then because nobody had ever seen that before. <laughs> 